Have you ever faced a situation where you moved on from a toxic relationship, but the toxic person wouldn't let you go gently? Yep. Recently, I encountered vitriol from toxic individuals <laughs> while on social media. And before I could get a good dose of their expression, I chose to mute them. I can't hear! The bit I couldn't make out were expletives that only led me to shrugging them off. After seeking counsel from my therapist, I realized the best approach towards a toxic person was simply do nothing. No, nothing at all. It's tough to resist the urge to fight back, but when we evaluate our situation and ask, what's the cost of my retaliation and what are the benefits? I realized my mental peace was the cost and the benefits were more vengeful. After quoting Tupac to my therapist, I ain't the killer, but don't push me. Facts. You feel me? Yep. So don't push me. She asks, where's Tupac now? You got a point. Point taken. Sometimes our responses have unintended detrimental consequences. That's why it's best to approach these situations with fragility. If harassment persists, seeking support from law enforcement. Police! Help! Help! May be the next best line of defense. Unfortunately, even seeking help and using non-responsive tactics can still lead to dangerous situations where people get hurt and lives are affected and changes forever. We can't control others' actions or emotions, Facts. but we can control our boundaries, self-care, our mind, and well-being. That is also true. Yeah. Think of yourself as a garden. You have the power to control what you want to grow, when you want to grow it, and the nourishment your plants need to encourage growth. Trying to control someone else's actions and emotions is like trying to control the outside weather. You can do all kinds of things, but you can't control the weather. Praying for rain and when you could irrigate your own supply of water at will to feed your plants and find peace. It's called equanimity. Being calm in the storm, letting go of aversions and attachments, and acknowledging you can't control the external, only our own inner peace, like your garden. Can't control everything in this world. Remember, you are your own botanist. Don't let toxic people stomp on your tulips and lavender. and deprive you of your own peace and autonomy. They may be hurting more than you think. You're hurt, ain't you? Stay good, healthy, prioritize your own growth.